全球气候异常变化、人类大规模砍伐森林、破坏自然生态的情况到底有多严重？数据可以说明一切。根据英国伦敦皇家植物园发布的最新世界植物状态报告中显示，全球有五分之一的植物种类因为自然栖息地受到外在因素冲击，走向濒临灭绝之路。而如果食物链中的植物没了，人类也会大祸临头。专家就警告说，全球必须。在发展和保育自然生态之间找出平衡点，抢救濒危物种，否则将会自食其果。伦敦皇家植物园领导八十名专家，从最小的胡姬花开始研究，到最大的红杉树等三十九万一千种植物后，发布最新的世界植物状态报告，结果得出了一个震撼性的数据。目前世上有高达百分之二十一，相等于全球五分之一的植物种类，因为气候暖化、人类大规模采伐森林、自然栖息地破坏而濒临灭绝，情况令人担忧。And over ten percent of ten percent of the world's global land cover has changed in the last ten years. There's a huge change going on, mainly agricultural change and land for urbanisation. We have to be pragmatic. I mean, people, we've got growing population size, people need food, they need places to live. So the real thing we need to be doing is identifying which are the important areas to conserve because of the incredible plant diversity they contain and which areas we should be developing. 如果你以为植物灭种与人类无关，那就大错特错了。研究显示，目前有三十一万个植物种类，除了是人类的食物，还有一些用作药品、建筑材料。一旦植物界生态失衡，首当其冲的将是人类本身。So having a more diverse and flexible approach approach to to producing our crops. Means we're more likely to be robust for the challenges in the future, especially as the climate changes, more diseases, more insects start to infest the crops. All, all of that stuff is, is likely to happen. 专家认为，保护环境不能只是纸上谈兵，各国领袖都必须实际行动。如果人类在罔顾生态平衡，到最后想要亡羊补牢，就为时已晚了。